Hi guys, it's Andy. Thanks for joining me today. Today I'm gonna do a empties video. I have a whole box over here full of stuff. It's been a few months since I've done one. I was going to wait till December so I could do like a whole six month chunk, but I'm moving again. Ah! <laughs> So I want to get these in the recycling in the garbage so that I can, you know, use this box for moving. I do have a little notebook with me because whenever I finish a product, I write a little blurb about how I felt about it, give it a 1 out of 10 rating. So I have that to refer to just in case I don't remember exactly how I felt about the product because I've been using this stuff for the last few months. Um... This look is on my Instagram and my TikTok for the tutorial. Everything that I am wearing will be linked in the description box below. I am doing a makeup series where I pick a random palette out of my collection and do a makeup look with it over on my TikTok, which will be linked below if you want to watch that. Otherwise, let's just get on into it. So, this is an Ulta box, and as you can see, it's pretty full. So we'll just start with that since this wanted to jump out. This is a set from Pacifica. This is the Pineapple Curls Shampoo and Conditioner. My OCD, like, so they have to be a set. They have to be a matching set when I have my hair products. This has 12 ounces. This only has eight. So obviously I was going to run out of the conditioner first. But I normally run out of conditioner first. I do have, you can't tell too much because it's so short, but I do have curly hair. So does my fiance. And I probably still have about this much shampoo left. And I'm, this is an empty, I'm throwing it away because I'm done with the conditioner. And I try not to use the same shampoo and conditioner back to back. Like I use these, I finish them up, and then I bought a different kind. Um... But I love this. It smells like cans of like crushed pineapple. It smells absolutely delicious. The shampoo, they say it on here, it's for all hair types, that they define your curls with hyaluronic acid, pineapple, and super oils. This makes my hair feel and look so good. This is the second time I believe I've bought this set and I would continue to repurchase this. Not right away because like I said, I try to cycle through different kinds of shampoos and conditioners but this is like one of my favorites like top five shampoo and conditioner sets is this right here and it's just it's gorgeous i just wish that this conditioner also came in a 12 ounce bottle or that this came in an eight ounce like i wish they were the same size because i feel like that would minimize my waste because you don't need as much shampoo as you do conditioner that's just the nature of the product, but would repurchase, will repurchase, love it. Um, I have a bunch of scrubs in here. We go through a lot of scrubs. I am obviously plus size, so I try to use scrubs two to three times a week just to make sure that everything's kosher. Since I've started doing this and using these scrubs, I haven't gotten any like heat rash in my skin folds or anything. I haven't had any like excess oils like these have been really great this one is my most recent empty so this is the tree hut cotton candy <laughs> i was so upset because you guys know that i had covid i only used this once before i lost my sense of smell but it smelled amazing it did smell like cotton candy it was super sweet it was super fine i have another tree hut scrub in here that i hated because it was super abrasive, but this one was like just the right amount. It was not too harsh, but it did it still exfoliated and did the job. I would definitely buy the scent again. Loved it. This is great. Um, let's go here. I have a face. Um, I don't think I'm gonna tell you guys my ratings. Like, it's more just for me to look at this if I'm like, hmm, how did I feel about that? I have a sheet mask. This is from Vita Vitamus. Use. It's the niacinamide blueberry, so this is for pore purifying. It was fine. It was a face mask. I like sheet masks, personally. I don't like having to apply, like, the squeezy tube masks, so I prefer these. I believe I, I bought this one from Walmart. I either bought this one or I got it in a subscription box, but they sell these, this brand at Walmart now, so these are pretty nice. 
it was blueberry. I have big pores because I have oily skin, especially in my T-zone. So I love pore purifying masks and it did the job. I would buy it again. It was great. Uh, let's go with another scrub. So this is from Me Bath. So this is a hemp body scrub. This is the original scent. I also have another one in here that's a different scent. I love this. I would say if I had to choose between buying the Tree Hut brand and this hemp brand, I would probably go with the Tree Hut because it's just a slightly bigger exfoliating pieces. This is very fine. Still does the job great. The original scent, it's kind of just got like that herby scent to it. Um, it's made with hemp, seed oil. So like this was really nice for my skin. It went on super luxuriously. I do really like this. But I would still prefer the Tree Hut brand over this. But these were at my Walmart and I believe this is a dollar cheaper and I think you get more. You get one ounce more for a dollar less in the hemp one. So when I'm, you know, pinching pennies, this still gets the job done and I did really like it. So it'd be one of those things like if they didn't have a Tree Hut set that I enjoyed or were, because sometimes, you know, they're completely cleared out of the Tree Hut scrubs, I would buy that one again. But it wouldn't be my first choice. Let's see, we had, this is a Kiehl's Rare Earth Deep Pore Daily Cleanser. I got this in a subscription box. I loved this cleanser. It had just a bit of exfoliating, because I don't try to exfoliate my face too often, but this was really nice. It has Amazonian white clay in it, which helps to detox and pull all that gunk out of your pores. And this just made my skin feel so clean. I don't normally buy Kiehl's products just because they're a little more on the expensive side, but I would purchase this again. Like, I loved this. I do have fails in here, I promise. We're just... Here, I'll pull one out. So this is a Bolero Hydrating Facial Toner. This is in Watermelon and Aloe. This is from my Dollar Tree. And I got it because I was like, oh, it's a toner. It can't be that bad for a dollar. And like, I looked at the ingredients and like, they're normal toner ingredients. Eh. It didn't, I don't like the smell. The, the watermelon and aloe scent, I still can't smell anything. So I'm not going to try to tell you what it smells like now. Because it'll smell like nothing. For a dollar, it's not awful. Like if you're in a pinch and you needed it for a dollar, it's not terrible, but it didn't do anything good either. It was very middle of the road. If I was in a pinch, I would maybe repurchase this again, but I would just rather go to Walmart, get Elf brand, get something that actually feels like it's toning my face. Oh, uh, let's see. So this is Grace and Stella. This is the foaming face wash. I got this in a subscription box. I loved, I liked this. I don't think I like foaming face washes. I think I like the face washes that are like cream to foam that foam on your face. This came out as a foam and it just, it was very gentle. It's good for sensitive skin, so I'll give it that. But I just feel like it didn't get enough in there. Like it wasn't cleaning my face enough. It didn't feel super clean. Like this would, this would have been a good like in the shower face wash instead of a cleanser. So I don't think I would repurchase it because I don't really need just a regular face wash. I like cleansers, but it wasn't bad. I didn't mind it. I was very proud to finally finish this off. This is the Shiseido Synchro Skin Soft Blurring Primer. I got this in a influencer box to review and I loved it. I It was a very thick silicone primer but it really filled your pores in, like, especially, like, and it filled my scar in here. Like, this primer was great. It's, like, $45, though, and I would never repurchase it for that price. But if it was on sale or if it got sent to me again, I would absolutely reuse it because I did really love it. Let's go. We got another scrub. So this is that same hemp scrub, but it's in the pomegranate scent. I didn't like this one. Ian liked it a lot better because he liked that it had like more of a scent instead of just like the herbal one. I did not like the pomegranate scent so I wouldn't get this one again. I'd stick with the original. At my Walmart it also comes in cucumber which I will never buy because that one stinks and I love cucumber scents and it stinks. So the only one that I would recommend for me personally scent wise would be the original but still not a bad scrub. Let's see. 
I have a Wet n Wild, this is the Mega Protein Mascara. This is what the wand looks like. It's not a bad mascara. I usually have to use this, and I believe I have the other one in here. Let me see. Yes. So I also have this empty. This is the Mega Volume. And this is what that wand looks like. These mascaras are fine. I use them together. So generally I would use the protein one first to give myself a little bit of length, a little bit of fullness, and then I would use the volume one after to really amp up that volume. And together they're pretty great and they're cheap. So in a pinch I would buy them again. Like I've bought this blue one a bunch of times because it's just, it's not bad. I don't see the point in spending the high end prices on mascara. But I'm not going to buy them again right now because I have a few mascaras that I'm working through. With getting subscription boxes, you get mascara. But they're not bad. I don't mind them at all. But again, I wouldn't use them separately. I wouldn't use them on their own. I, those are both that I have to use them together or I don't get like the effect that I want. I have another shampoo and conditioner set in here. This is from Maui Moisture Hair Care and this is the Lightweight Curls and Flax Seed. This is the shampoo and conditioner. And we actually finished these completely, like, together, which never happens. Um, these smelled great. So they have coconut water. They have citrus oil. Aloe is the first ingredient. These were really nice. These were sent to me from Influencer to try, and I loved them. They smelled great. They made our hair look great. Would buy, They sell these at my Walmart, so I would definitely repurchase these. And I had never tried this one, and it was really, really good. So, I am happy with it. I'm throwing things. Let's go. Here, we have a toner. So, this is the e.l.f. Super Tone. This is the yellow one. They also have a clear balance toner, which I like better. I did not love this one. It's, uh, this is like a dupe, which it isn't really a dupe because this is actually more expensive. But there's a Neutrogena a Lemon Squeeze. And I, this is very similar to that, which I love that one. Don't love this one. Smells great. Smells like lemon, citrus, awesome. But it's very harsh. Like, this is an exfoliating toner. It's to brighten your skin with fruit acids, and it's to exfoliate. And I just, I would rather use an exfoliating cleanser and a regular toner. I just have learned that I do not like exfoliating toners. It's just a little too harsh for my skin. But if that's what you're looking for, this was really nice. Like, it did what it was supposed to do. I just don't need that harsh of a product. Let's see. I have a hand cream. I think I have a couple in here. This is from La Chatelaine. So this is the coconut milk hand cream. Very pretty. It was fine. It smelled like coconuts. Um, it left my hands feeling soft. It wasn't too greasy because, especially when it comes to hand creams, if they leave like that greasy residue on my hands, can't do it. Like, I love Bath and Body Works, but I hate their hand creams because they leave that greasy feeling. But this is pretty nice. I got this in a subscription as an add-on. I love hand creams, especially now that we're getting into the cooler months. I wash my hands constantly. Um, so it's one of those things that gotta put lotion on or I'll get cracked hands and nobody wants that what else do we got we'll go with another scrub <laughs> oh I did buy it so this is the cucumber one maybe that's why maybe that's why I know that but this one stinks would not repurchase this so for me it would go original pomegranate and then this one I don't know if they make any other sense like online if you could buy them but in my Walmart they have those three and this was my least favorite we still used it up because, like, I'm not going to waste a product. Like, just because I didn't love the scent. The way I do it is I exfoliate first and then I, you know, take my full shower where, you know, soap, shampoo, all of that. So this scent is never really going to linger on my body. So it's not the end of the world, but I would not repurchase the scent again. Ian didn't like the scent either, so we just, we would not get this one again. Let's see, I finally finished the Too Faced Glitter Glue. I have been working on this for two years because when I first got into makeup and bought this, I didn't wear glitter that often. 
And then I had a phase where I bought a bunch of the nine pan ColourPop palettes that came with the pressed glitters in the middle. And I used the crap out of this. And I it was very low for a long time. But I finally finished it. It was great. Um, I don't know if I'd repurchase it because it's like $24 for this. I mean, it did last and it did the job great. But I think there are other glitter glues that you can use that do the job just as well for a fraction of the price. But it was really good. This was a really great product. So it would be a maybe. I might repurchase it. Let's go with something cheap. We have the e.l.f. liquid liner. This is the brush tip. This is my favorite eyeliner. It's $3. I love it. I have it in black. Because black. Um, I feel like I can get my best wing with this. I've tried other expensive liners and they just don't do it as well. Like I just, I will swear by this eyeliner forever. It is the greatest. <laughs> so this is a declutter. Um, as I said in the beginning, I'm doing a uh, random eyeshadow palettes. This was the Wet n Wild Fantasy Makers Mosh Pit palette. And there's one matte shade. This is a satin. And then we have two glitters. But these glitters, I don't know if you guys can see it. But they're basically just like the Vaseline with glitter in them. Like, they're so gloopy. They felt disgusting on my eyes. They creased. Like, they were awful. And the thing is, is I have two other palettes, like, from this line. And the glitters don't feel like that, that they do in this one. So I decluttered this palette because, like, I put my fingers in the glitters, in the gel, and, like, I can't sanitize that. So I don't have anyone that I could really give this to, but I'm throwing it away because it's awful. Let's get my last scrub out of the way. So this is the Tree Hut Vitamin C Scrub, and this one... It was a harsh scrub, and I get it. It's vitamin C. You want it to be a little more harsh to brighten your skin, lighten up any scars you might have, but it was too harsh for me. Like, it hurt to use. Like, the the exfoliating bits in it were just really big and rough, and I did not like this one. I didn't really see any results, like, with brightening my skin or my scars, so would not repurchase this one. It smelled good, but too harsh for me. Let's see. So this is the Diva Curl Curl Bond Treatment Mask. So this was a hair mask. I only got to use this once. I don't have too much hair. So generally when we get masks, I leave them more to Ian. He has pretty long hair. He really liked it. It helped moisturize because he has very dry hair, but like an oily scalp. So this helped moisturize his hair. It helped his curls look nice. I got it in a box. It was fine. I would repurchase. It was good. Let's see. We have, this is the Balance Me Congested Skin Serum. Eh, I got this in a box. I didn't really feel like it did anything. I was using this when I had a whole bunch of breakouts because, you know, congested skin. It says on here, it's a soothing gel to call inflammation and speed away blemishes without causing dryness or irritation. It did not help my breakouts. It did not help my rosacea. It did not help really anything kind of a waste, but it is what it is. This is the Perfect Repair Leave-In Treatment. It's a little, little spray here. Um, it was fine. It didn't do too much to our hair. There's still a little bit left in it, but it won't come out of the pump anymore. So I'm saying that it's done. It was fine. I didn't really see too many crazy changes in his hair but again got it in a box so it's not something I would probably repurchase but I'm not mad that we had it this little guy this is a little Vaseline tub this is the creme brulee scent let me see if I can smell it Ooh, a little bit it smells smells it smells so good one Tiny jar, I have fat fingers, it was hard to get it out. Two, I don't like having to put my fingers in the jar to get it out and put it on my lips. And three, it didn't moisturize my lips. It didn't sink in, it just sat on top. And I like to put on lip balm before I go to bed at night because I wear a BiPAP. 
and so my lips will get super chapped from the air pressure and this just it didn't do it for me so even though it's still pretty full getting rid of it because it didn't do the job I have this is a hair serum from the lifestyle co this is a scalp treatment it's the detox hair serum I got this in a boxy charm we loved this I didn't really like it for my hair I don't need extra oil but even though Ian's scalp is oily like this just this helped with his dandruff that he has this helped with the overall maintenance of like his roots but this is like a $70 serum and I just I can't justify spending that much on a hair serum but this was wonderful and I loved it he was upset because he's like this was so great we need to buy it again and when I told him how much it was he's like Absolutely not. We can't afford to repurchase that. I have, this is the Atelier Cologne, the Orange Sanguine. I got this in an Influencer. This is a unisex fragrance. Um, I know it's a blood orange scent. It doesn't have the uh, scent notes on it, but it the top note was blood orange, and I loved this scent. Generally, when I get sent a unisex scent, I keep it for myself because you know, non-binary. Hi, I like unisex scents. And I just like more masculine smelling colognes over like traditional perfumes. And I love this, would definitely repurchase. I'm trying not to throw things on the floor. Let's see. So I have a pair, there's one. I had another set, but I already threw it away. These are from Amazon. They're lashes. I didn't like how this style looked on me. And I had another pair that I wore that I just, it was time for them to be thrown out. I get these from Amazon. I will link them in my description box. They're $10 for like 10 pairs and they're great quality. Like, I love them. So we definitely repurchase. But again, that'll be linked down below. Um, let's see, we have another Kiehl's. This is the Ultra Facial Cream. It's a daily lightweight moisturizer. It's just a little sample. Got it in a box. I liked it. Um, it was nothing to write home about. I hate this kind of packaging that I have to scoop out. It, it moisturized it, it literally fine. It wasn't great. Didn't blow my socks off, but it wasn't bad. So I wouldn't repurchase it because I have other moisturizers that I love but it wasn't bad it did the job let's see here we have a this works morning expert hyaluronic serum so this is a hyaluronic acid and vitamin c serum this was fine I like hyaluronic acid in my products so like it was a good serum it's hard to really see results for serums in my opinion like between all my other skincare but it was nice. I liked it. Let's see. We have a Gold Fat and MD. This is the Overnight Regenerative Facial Treatment. So this was like an overnight moisturizer. Smelled like citrus. It was delicious. I love this. I've heard such good things about Gold Fat and products, and I want to get more into it. I know they're a little more high-end, but this worked amazing. Definitely loved it. We have the Lano Lips 101 ointment, and this is in the watermelon flavor scent. I say that because it wasn't tinted. It didn't smell like watermelon, and it didn't taste like watermelon, so I don't know. But it's just, it was a lip balm. It's one of these little applicators. It worked fine. I used it on my lips at night, did the job, loved it. I would get it again. I just... Don't understand why it says watermelon when it wasn't scented or flavored as watermelon or even tinted, but oh well. We're getting there. We're almost through it all. This is the Aceology Brightening Treatment Mask. Now, I said I don't like squeezy tube masks, but this one was amazing. I got two faces out of it. I believe it came out, so the mask was actually this like blue periwinkle color, and it doesn't say what it targets, but it's, you know, it's a brightening treatment mask. I feel like it made my skin really soft after using it. I, I really like Aceology as a brand, so I would get this again. I really liked this mask. Let's see. 
So we have the Pure Lease Ageless Glow Serum BB Cream SPF 40, and I have mine in the shade Fair. So this was a BoxyCharm product. I picked this. Awful. So it's just a squeezy tube. Let me see if you can see the shade, because I don't want to put it on my hand. This looked awful on my skin. I tried it with a brush, I tried it with a sponge, it was very patchy, and it pilled really bad. The shade match wasn't the greatest either, which I mean, that's my fault, I picked it. Um, so, even though I've only used, I only used it twice, I am, I'm throwing this away. This was a fail, a fail beyond a fail. I have never had a foundation look this bad. And I used to, you know, look orange in middle school when I first started wearing makeup. And still, ah, twas awful. So I have a Devine's Clarifying Shampoo. It's just a shampoo. This is a sample. And this is a pet peeve of mine. When boxes send you just a shampoo or just a conditioner from a brand, which is why I have this, which is the... Twisted Sista Innate Hair Collection Hydrating Conditioner. So I use these together because they, I had a single shampoo and conditioner. So these are what I used. This, clarifying. It was really good for Ian's hair. Um, it'll take the color out of your hair. So if you have color treated hair, do not use a clarifying shampoo. But it really gets the grit off your scalp. So it was nice. And then this is just a hydrating conditioner. This was super thick and super moisturizing for our hair. Really loved this. I have the Silky Hair Deep Conditioning Mask. Ian loved this. I, again, I say this all the time. I hate the packaging because I don't want to have to scoop it out. But this was a super thick conditioning mask. This really improved the quality of his hair. I would buy this again, like just for him even, even though I didn't, it didn't really see a difference in my hair. It did wonders for his hair. Let's see, I have the Pacifica Rose Jelly Under Eye Gels. So it's got one of these, these are little rolly balls. This was really nice if you put it in the fridge so that those little balls got cold and then you could use it for depuffing, but Putting it in as my uh, eye cream at night with my uh, skincare routine, it did not do a good job of that. So if you have really puffy eyes and you're looking for something to kind of soothe that, this would be perfect. But I don't think it works well in your skincare routine. Almost done here. So now we have the Kors Probiotic Gel Cream. This is just a moisturizer. Worked fine. Again, nothing to write home about. It did the job. Smelled good. Felt nice on the skin. Middle of the road. I have another little shampoo and conditioner sample. So this is the TLW. So we have Laughter is Best. This is the shampoo. And Winter is Coming, which is the conditioner. And it says these are blow dry shampoo, removes product buildup, and the ultra lightweight conditioner won't weigh down your roots or ends. These were fine. Um, again, middle of the road. They didn't do great things for her, but they didn't do anything bad. They washed her hair. It was fine probably wouldn't repurchase because if I if I'm not super excited and love a product I'm not gonna repurchase it because it's just it's so easy to find products that you love and enjoy so when things are just middle of the road meh this is from pure lease this is their pineapple bright cleansing gel this smelled like pineapples which is a scent that I love I love pineapples this was amazing it was a gel cleanser it really worked into the skin. It helped brighten my skin tone. This was great. Would definitely, definitely repurchase this. Next, we have the BioClarity Exfoliating Enzyme Jelly Cleanser. Didn't love this. It was very middle of the road. Um, I figured, you know, oh, it's a jelly cleanser. It'll look really nice going on the skin. It just didn't feel like it got my face clean enough. Like it didn't foam up. It was clear. So it was kind of hard when your face is already kind of wet to see 
where you had cleanser and where you didn't, and I didn't love that. And it just, eh. Again, this would have been like a good in the shower washing your face, but not as like my skincare cleanser. Next we have the Bumble and Bumble Hairdressers Invisible Oil Primer Spray. This was fine. Um, Ian used it more as to, because it's like a heat protectant spray. We don't heat our hair at all. So he used it more as like a detangler, which probably isn't the best. It says spray on damp or dry hair and comb through in style. So like it could be used as a detangler loosely, maybe. It did okay. It was a spray. It smelled good. Um, I'm thinking if you need heat protection, like this would be really nice. We just don't use heat on our hair. We don't blow dry it, straighten it, curl it, nothing. So I got it in a box. It was fine. Don't Wouldn't really repurchase it because it's not something that we need. This is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Body Cream. I got this in a box and I'm going to say I didn't love it. Smelled great. Smelled like watermelon, but it had that almost greasy slick feel and it didn't sink into the skin and that's just what I need from a lotion so it just was not for me but that's okay we got four products left so this is the Oribe moisturizing cream this I got in a box this was amazing for our hair like I can't justify spending the price on this product because it's like $85 but it was great to have it felt really good in the hit Got the hiccups, excuse me. Felt really good in the hair. Did a great job of moisturizing. Loved it, but won't repurchase just because of the price. Next, I have the It Cosmetics Your Skin Better CC Cream with SPF 50. Um, this doesn't say what shade it's in because it's just a tiny little sample. I loved this. It was a perfect shade match. It was super lightweight, went on the skin great, but still had a really good coverage. I would buy the full size. Like I never thought I would find either a CC or a BB cream that I enjoyed and I absolutely love this. Last two products, we have the Benefit Guinea Brow. Mine is in the shade three, which I believe is medium brown. This is fine. Um. I have pretty full brows, so I don't really need a tinted brow gel, but it did give me, you know, I, it gave me a little bit more coverage in the front. It was a very nice hold. I did like this. I don't know if I would repurchase, like the shade match was great. Shade match was perfect. So if I wanted something tinted, I would repurchase this. I believe they do have a clear one, which I think I would like better, but I did really, really like it. And our last product here, this it's a hand cream. It's the Glow On Fifth Beauty Chamomile Hand Cream. I got this as an add-on. Um, it was great. It did the job. It was super moisturizing. It wasn't greasy. And so I really liked it. And I appreciate you guys sitting with me through all these. And I will see you next time. Bye.